Yes, there is a second one, and then they're going to make one that's set in Japan at some point, which I'm really happy for. Ah, mm. oh, I need to get into making games properly, and I need to get into drawing more. That means Kafumi moves, I guess. What? Does that mean Kafumi moves, or is like no, no, it's, it's the same part. place. It's just like a year later. Oh. How many are they? Okay, doing? headphone is on. Uh, they're going to be working on number three real soon. And mm. uh, yes, three is the Jap uh yeah the Japanese one. Uh, let me just make sure everything's like they're doing. Uh, okay. I just look down and I see a freaking cock and balls on a freaking latte art. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let us go. Let's go. Let's a fucking go! Okay. That sounds like what Mario would say when he's drunk. Yes. Alright, so we got Lua here. Mmm. He looks flowers. Stories. Myrtle listen listening is an art I often take for granted. Me aw, poor Myrtle. This when people communicate things communicate things properly, yay. Mm -hmm. Spent coffee, honey, and milk drink is not a meal replacement. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did teach him a thing. I just stopped just these young fellas for drunk driving, so that's a lesson for y'all to keep your spirits in control. Mm. Quality work comes at a price. You can't ask for a thousand dollar quality and ask to pay 150 respect people you decide to work with. Yes. Mm hmm. By the way, does your. Oh, he's fucking, fucking an ad. Right, drinks restocking, new schedule due to new regulations, cut off order time, one dollar, shop close. Okay. Found out, just finished today's dance practice, I'm also out, but my co said I really improved lately. Yay, yay. Good. All right. Anyway. There's an eerie atmosphere out there tonight. Mm. Feels like a night for old friendships. Don't I can tell it's just raining as usual. Yeah. I guess after a while you can just sort of detect the differences in the rain. Mm -hmm. And new acquaintances. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Is anyone there? Is it a ghost? Or is it... Kitty! <gasps> Kitty! Mew. Oh, wait, I think I recognize that cat. Yep. Anyway. You go ahead. Actually, no, you're- do you voice this guy, or do I- I voiced the older dude. Okay, then I'll take care of this. Wait, no, he Hello. had the pudgier one. I'll- I'll voice her, too, okay. Or him. I don't know which cat it is. It sounds like a girl cat. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is, but I could have sworn I had a tie on for a second. No, the girl cat we had with- uh, or what was her name? Um... Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. She was, uh, like a tuxedo cat, and the older cat was the cat man was, like, gray cat. So this is a new cat. Oh. Okay, this is a new cat. All right. Yes. Uh, hello. You gave me a start. You're a Neko Mimi, right? You're going to transform any second now? Mew. Oh, I thought it was a tie, but that's just a speech bubble. Mm-hmm. Or maybe not. Cat. Lua! Okay. So that's just a cat, then. Yeah. That's you, though. Hey, Kafumi. And, hey, new customer. Meow. <laughs> Hi, Miss Lua. I don't think this is a coffee drinking sort of cat. No, it would appear not. Do you have a new pet cat, then? I'm... I think it adopted us. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. This is my first time seeing this little one. Oh, look, Teleport closer. Teleporting cat. Meow. Are you sniffing me, kitty? <laughs> Hello, Necris. Do you want cuddles? Don't be a creepy druid. Don't be a creepy druid. Nope. <laughs> all right, all right. No cuddles. Cats. Indeed. I wonder if it's lost, but it doesn't have a collar, so it might be a stray. Yeah, Apparently, you can open the door, though. Yes. 
It's cute though. To make a nice mascot. Bodega cat. I would think that's up to it, not up to us. That's right. And it's asleep. Aww. Anyhow, it's been a little while. Mm. Yeah, this last time we saw you was well over a week ago, wasn't it? What have you been up to? Honestly. Mostly work as usual. And I just like grabbed a bunch of plushies of people and I just want them on me today. So yes, that is Azure on the bottom. Anyway. I won't lie, I'm pretty beat. Yeah, having nothing but work with very little time to relax, very hard. Did you just leave the office? Yes. But in my defense, I spent the last hour looking at wedding dresses in Tomodachi. Tomodachi Hill. Well, that's only fun, doesn't it? Does it? It's not unfun. Hmm. It's a moderately enthusiastic response. <laughs> How are the wedding preparations going? They're going. Uh. I might need a drink before I answer that. You certainly look like you could do something warm. Something warm and cozy, yes. Milky and soothing with just a bit of warm spice. I'm going to hit my pillow as soon as something will help me sleep. Something uh, that will help me sleep. Yes. And I see you have snazzy new ingredients. We have blue pea and hibiscus now, indeed. That sounds interesting. I'd like to try hibiscus then with milk and warm spice, please. Okay, so hibiscus, milk, and... Let's try that. I think we would want ginger, though. But there is one drink that I actually made. Pink spice, yep. Yeah. Ooh, it even has a heart. That's perfect. Yep. Perfect. And very cute. Yes. The cat wants it. I'll do some stretching and everything. Let me check the brew pad, though, because we have a new drink. So smooth but spicy draw. Warm and refreshing at the same time. We get a cat. You're meowing. meowing. We're reading the internet. Hmm. October 2nd. Hey, her birthday's tomorrow. Oh, poor kitty. The machine wake you up. Yeah. I do not have a dragon horde. It's the goblin treasure horde. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. There goes the mascot. And here, there goes the mascot. Maybe it'll come back later. Yeah. I bet it will. Cats always have reasons for their actions. Even if they're not often rather mysterious ones. Mm, that's true. Anyway, here's your drink, Miss Lua. Oh, that smells lovely. It also has a lovely color. Yes. Hi, Ark. And it tastes lovely, too. I know I could count on you, Kafumi. You're always a sight for... sore taste buds or something. <laughs> You're allowed to hug all the hoof, and yes, there's Rocky. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Right, so the wedding preparations. You and Mr. Baileys are still getting married, of course. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> After everything we've been through. I'm not about to back down now. <laughs> Baileys is still very much my person. Yeah. With the long ears and all. So none of those pesky cold feet. That sounds like good news. No cold feet, no cold anything. In fact, my stress is running so high. I feel like I have steam coming out of my horns. Well, stop no, smoking it's coming them. out of your mouth. Yeah, stop smoking yeah. them. That doesn't sound like good news. Yeah. It's just such a big thing, you know? I feel like that's all we talk about. But we're not making much progress. We're not further along than we were weeks ago. You have different expectations as of the day. I don't know. I'm not sure I even know what my expectations are anymore. Mm. I look at all those weddings on Toma de Chill, and all they do is do special over the top stuff. Oh, don't get sold in by that now. Yeah, exactly. That's the issue. Weddings are meant to be flavored based on the two that are getting married. 
And mm -hmm. if you think, oh, we gotta have this, you gotta have this, you're going to hate your own wedding. You only have one wedding until you renew your vows if you want to do that. However, mm -hmm. most people will be prepared for the first time only. And it's just, mm -hmm. why would you, why would you do that to yourself? Why would yeah. you want to have a wedding where you hate it? Like, I know for sure, Annie and I have food already picked out basically that we want to have for stuff, but we're not going to have mm -hmm. like a giant wedding. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, especially not at a church. Fuck that. I say we just have like a giant potluck party and that's it. Yeah, that sounds nice. Lots of food, relaxing atmosphere, just being with you and everything. Yeah. By the way, was she smoking when in the previous game? Yes, she was smoking then. Okay. I don't have any original ideas like that. She and Georgie were the two main smokers. What about Mr. Bailey's? He enjoys creative endeavors, doesn't he? He does, but that's another issue. His parents are willing to pay for part of the wedding. In her own parents. Oh, yeah. and I earn a good leaving so I can cover most of it. Vi wants to contribute his share, but he can't really afford it. Wouldn't that right. be Bay? Bay? This Bay. Is Bailey. Bay. Yeah, Bay. Bay wants to contribute his share, but he can't really afford it. And as mm. you know, his parents aren't in the picture anymore. Right, so it was her parents, okay. Yeah, do you still feel guilty about that? No, I don't think so. If I learned anything, it's that... You need to let the people you love make their own choices. Yeah. But I'm concerned. Both about Bay dropping all his savings on this stuff. And by him trying to guess what I want. Rather than expressing his own wishes. Mm. Sounds like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And he's ignoring his own wants and needs. Yeah. And trying to make sure everyone's happy. Yeah. Maybe. But I guess that's unavoidable, right? <gasps> oh. Neil. Hello, Neil. He looks different. No, this is a different space, man. Also, I know this is... What is that in the center of his outfit? That is a new badge and a black-eyed Susan. And it looks like a backpack? Neat. Is that that space person you told me about weeks ago? The one who used to come to the cafe? I thought it might be them, but I'm not sure now. They didn't seem to react to my greeting. Besides, last time we saw Neil, he had changed his name to Silver. And he looked... Rather more human. I see. That's all very mysterious. Also, always oh, doing the finger thing. So, um, in the first game, if you don't want me to, like, if anyone doesn't want spoilers for the first game, I don't know why you'd be watching this anyway, but still. But, um, first game, basically what happened was that, uh, there was a spaceman trying to come to Earth to fuck around and find out to make the next <laughs> Superman, basically. And, uh, success! Turns out we're that. And time traveling is a thing. Yeah. And that's why there's a space person here again. Yes, but the thing is, this is apparently a different one because the last one doesn't wear the suit anymore. He's got a new name and a new look and all that. Yeah, He's adapted, basically. Pink so and this black is a different season. new space person. Yes. Did you hear them come in? I didn't, but then I rarely do. They're stealth. Hmm. They're... Red. Bartender, what does a girl have to do to get a drink around here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Pour me a stiff one. Okay, she's different. Also a girl. You can Beg take... your pardon? Yeah, remember we're switching every so often. Yeah. This isn't quite that kind of place. Isn't it? Our research indicates that this is the way one should order a drink. Ah. Uh... In a place of public consumption. Mmm. It sounds like your research is based on Orc Westerns. Yeah. Uh, also, this is Coffee Talk Episode 2, a fun one. Mmm. No Pink. murder mysteries yet. Pink. Is there anything wrong with Orc Westerns? We rather enjoyed them. So Orcs are American. <laughs> no, I guess not. Uh, there is no murder mystery, but we do have stuff where we can just give people shot shit like a fidget spinner. Yeah. 
I bet someone will like that fidget spinner. Yeah. They're just very different from reality. In what ways? Oh my gosh, she's like, look at this very cute astronaut. The posture is great. Yeah. Also a little flower. Yes. I'll hydrate, that, thank you. Um, I will also hydrate. Yeah. It would take a very long time to answer that. I guess the better question is, how are they similar? Uh, <laughs> how are they similar? You did say it was the better question. Yeah. That's fair enough. I suppose the honest answer is... The way you feel emotions is similar. How they are ambitious and have dreams. Mm. How they want things and sometimes get jealous of others. But also how they help each other out. And how they fall in love. Aww. That's oh. cute. Yeah. It sounds like Earthlings have very busy feelings. That's a fun phrase, busy feelings. I guess we do. Are your people very different in that respect? Yeah, they all have a hive mind. We are. Although we want things too. Finger guns! Finger gun! Also, the holes are right there. Interesting. Yes. It appears that Earthlings have at least 94.328% more emotions than we do. How do you distinguish between them all? That's hard sometimes, honestly. Yeah. To yeah. be honest, sometimes... <laughs> to be honest, sometimes we don't. Why do we speak? Yeah. Reading others isn't easy, nor is understanding ourselves for that matter. Mm. That adds some spice to life, I guess. It sounds like, to us, it would be helpful to have those emotions displayed. Like they're doing. Yeah, especially in movies. Perhaps you could write them at the top of the screen. <laughs> oh, right. Cinema from the 1920s would certainly agree with you. Yeah. But, pardon me. You're not Neil, are you? Or Silver? Indeed, we are not. Our name is Amanda. So there are several of you here on Earth. Let's check the... Space. There are a great many of us everywhere. Hmm. Our average density is 3,450.45 per galaxy. But this is not the topic of our present conversation. No, you wanted a drink, didn't you? Okay, so if there's more than 3,000 in a galaxy, the odds of two of them showing up on the same planet does not seem very likely. Yeah. Because even in our solar system, there's about, like, give or take 250 or so celestial bodies, counting all the moons. Hmm. We do wish to absorb some liquid matter, yes. Similarly to what the purple Earthling has been doing. Purple? I think she's more of a pink. Yeah, she's more of a pink. The purple Earthling? This, that is certainly a description. Is it wrong? Would it be more accurate to describe you as the... Four appendages, Earthling? <laughs> Do you mean my horns and ears? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Amanda. We usually avoid addressing customers by a number of their appendages. Just a casual reminder, we are a part of Shogoth Starbucks. Oh! Oh! Icy Coffee Fox, welcome to the Akito Academy. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, welcome. Yep. We apologize, but we cannot address the, per the customer by name as we do not know it. I wonder what pink means. Embarrassment? Probably. Or excitement. Is oh, it orange? Sorry. I. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> orange. Oh, I have to introduce myself. That's bad. That's my bad. I'm Lua. Yeah, orange is joy, red is anger, pink is embarrassment. Blues, well, pulsating blue seems to be like contentment. Mm. Lua. 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 
That seems like a happy response. Yes. Yes. It has a very pleasing sound. Oh. Well, thank you. We wish to absorb some liquid matter, as Lua has been doing. Of course. And do you have any ideas what kind of, uh, liquid matter that might be? Something bright colored and memorable. We want our first drink on Earth to be an experience we shall never forget. Aw. No pressure, Kafumi. It's quite alright. We were born to rise to the kind of challenge. That's the spirit. Any other ideas, Miss Amanda? We want the taste to be very spicy. Mm. We know that some places serve weak drinks. Two bipeds with female denominations. Our research has determined that behavior to be undesirable in 99.9 .9 repeating of current is... Mm. Poor choice is kind of place either. Yeah. Indeed. So you'd like something vivid and spicy. What if it was, let's say, blue and gingery? We do not know what gingery means. But blue and gingery sounds good to us. Okay, I had a feeling it'd be blue. Yeah, it was one of the new drinks for sure. Kafumi wants to show off. Blue lightning! Ooh. Oh, I like that. I just decided to go with double ginger. That's actually really cool looking. How do they do that? Mm -hmm. A blue lightning coming right up. Probably a really good putting. The best remedy for an upset tummy or a bored mind. And in a pretty cover to boot. Yay! Oh, nothing. Mm. Uh, actually, hold on. There's something else here. Oh, I have to click on it that way. Uh. A blue lighting coming right up. This is vivid indeed. Now let's try it. Is she? Yep. Hmm. This is interesting. We heard that we might struggle to experience taste. But we can certainly feel the kick of this. Your reputation was well deserved, Kofumi. Ah, they know about her. Mm -hmm. What kind of reputation is that? Mm, we have a phone charger right down here. We also, have pills down here for some reason. Hmm. Sounds like word is getting around. Soon as place for my hipster den. No. I should probably start looking for an alternative haunt. I hope not. I'd miss you a lot, Miss Lua. So, isn't that what a hipster does? You go to places only before they come cool? Hmm. Touche. I guess she'll be stuck with me a while longer. Wouldn't have it any other way. Now, Miss Amanda, what was that about my reputation? We heard about you from our sibling, formerly known as Neil. I see. Sibling, huh? This isn't a future hipster, then this is an alien den. This is our aunt. You shouldn't consider rebranding as Cafe Close Encounters. It makes it sound like a <laughs> rather different type of place. Yeah. Huh. So what brings you here, Amanda? Please define your question. You mean here on this planet? That too, but also here in this cafe. We are on this planet on a research and rescue mission. Oh? Is that like a search and rescue? Hi, Rabu. Hi, Lucifer. Perhaps it is a mission to gather numbers for research, as well as to rescue our sibling. We are in the cafe to wait for them. We made an appointment, as is the custom here. They should arrive in two minutes, three seconds, and twelve milliseconds. Please pardon the roughness of our estimate. That's more than good enough. You are very kind. Kavumi has mentioned your sibling a few times, I think. Silver, right? Indeed, we are part of the same hive mind. Am I just like watching two people just meet in the chat because they saw each other in porn or something, or what? Anyway. A hive mind? That sounds pretty amazing. But doesn't that make appointments less... useful? That would have been true some time ago. But Neil, now known as Silver, is becoming more human by the day. 
getting more fleshy. <laughs> Their connection to the hive mind grows ten U.S. Oh, that must feel a little lonely to lose your connection to your family when you've been so close. That's a new Aww. one for her for her to look. Aww. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps. What does it mean to be lonely? It's uh. When you think about other people and they're not here, and that makes you sad, it makes you feel like you have a weight on your chest. Like those things usually feel good until you lose a lot of their appeal. Hmm. Thank you for your explanation. We think we see. We do not know. Perhaps it is a little lonely. We cannot answer this with more than a 61% certainty. Oh. Hey! There he is. Uh, hi everyone. Hi, Amanda. Speaking of the space person, here comes my former regular. I, uh, I apologize. I haven't been coming by often enough lately. Hi. I'm Lua. Nice to meet you, Lua. I'm Silver. I heard a lot about you. Don't mind me checking my phone. He has a very, uh, intense, intense gaze, really. He does. Oh. Interesting. Have you? You probably pictured me in a bigger suit. <laughs> I guess so, yes. A bit like your sibling there. I understand. I've been undergoing many changes lately. I'll let go of the suit. What I think you... your finger twitching is getting faster. Mm -hmm. It is nervous. Mm. What makes me feel true to who I am now? I also changed my name for the same reason. Have you been waiting long, Amanda? Not unduly. <laughs> awkward. Very. <laughs> this is a bit awkward. We'll have lots of fun, Carl. If you do stop by later, we will be doing a Galaxy Burger and such. Hey, it's yes. Violet! It's one of the dolls I have kidnapped today. <laughs> Hello. She's currently on my left boob. <laughs> hey. Just a bit. Oh, sorry. You can keep it if you want. Just a bit. Mm. Amanda? Yes? You should know that I've been missing you a lot. Oh. What is miss? Sorry, there's a blue tray outside. Is it like being lonely? Yeah, it is. When did you learn what lonely is? We have been told that is the name of the feeling we have. When we think about you, aw, pink. Pink. That's... I... I just... Bring it in. Bring what? Oh! No hug animation, sadly. Aww. I'm gonna close my window real quick. The blue jay is right outside. Hold on, you little fucker. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> oh, jackass of a bird? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what was it doing? Oh my gosh! Oh, I love blue jays. They're like, they're like the best combination of asshole and just dork. Because it's like, I was like, it was right outside my my window because I have like a power line running in the backyard area. Mm -hmm. It's it's gone to scream at another location. But um, it was literally right outside my kitchen window, and then I'm just like, what? And I like lean out, and then it just flies away after looking at me. <laughs> like it was just there to be a menace. Fucking birds. <laughs> anyway, no hug animation. That is one long hug. So cute. I can hear you, you know. Hug. Ahem. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, hug. As we were saying, we appreciate you being only three milliseconds late. Eh. 
It's good to see you haven't changed. You have. And yet, you haven't. Now that you are close, you feel part of the hive again. And your presence is similar to what is always was. Makes me really happy to hear that. You should order a drink, as customary. Then we can proceed with our discussion of the mission. The mission? Oh, didn't Kofumi tell you about that? Not really. Well, the reason I came here in the first place was to find love. You mean, to reproduce with the local species, also known as yes. mating. <laughs> That's uh, another way to put it. I think I remember you putting it in those terms yourself, Silver. I did, yes, but that was a long time ago. I'm that was gonna... last week. No, that was last year in-game. Okay, okay, fair. I'm going to tell you everything. But first, Amanda's right. I'd like to order a drink. I can taste them properly now, so I enjoy them a lot more. Smile. He has a mouth. Yep. Happy to hear that. Just, like, acts all over again. What would you like? Cigarette butts and cinnamon buns. I need to read more Animorphs. I like something new and unique. I want to explore all these new sensations. But nothing too strong, please. I know the same tolerance as before. Also, I'm in the mood for something a bit sweet and floral. Maybe with a bit of freshness to it? Mmm. New, but not something strong. Something new, but... Right. Okay. A bit of sweet, floral, refreshing. Maybe blue? <laughs> Oh, I do love blue. Something sweet, floral, refreshing, and blue, then. Please. Sweet, refreshing, and blue. So, blue pea. We do lemon and mint, maybe? Or what do you think would be good? So, blue pea. Mm. Nothing blue spicy. Pea for sure. No ginger. Mm. I want to say honey for some reason. We could try a bit of honey. And what would you want as the third one? Something floral. Nothing bitter. We could try mint. That is, I guess, a plant. Well, it is. Not yeah. sure not if it's a flower exactly, but. Oh! All We're right, skipping all the flu right. flock. Flower bed. Wow. Look at that little bee. That looks Look so at that cute. that weird sunset thing. Yes. That is amazing. One bright flower bed for the silver person. I hope that seems to be right. An entire garden in a teacup from the leaves to the pollen. Can you hear the bees? I would rather not hope you have bees in there. <laughs> I'm just imagining you drink it and you get a mouthful of bees. <laughs> this definitely looks unique. Can't wait to try it. And then she was already pouring a teacup full of spiders. Yep. Oh, yum, it's delicious. Drinking through my mouth makes such a difference. To be honest, I never expected to like it this much. Now I can never get enough of it. Yep. <laughs> Guys, just going to a mall and just like, eating all the leftovers. I can't really like, love oh, does look uncomfortable. That's a very different experience. Not entirely unpleasant. No, it's also nice in its own way. But it doesn't convey taste in the same way a mouth does. It doesn't have as many taste buds. Yeah, much more about the sensation. Which definitely makes it intense, which is why she could taste the ginger. Kind of. Mm. Because ginger has an enzyme in it that is what makes it have its own unique spice. Like, peppers have capsaicin, and garlic has its own thing, but ginger has its own thing as well. So that's why you can kind of feel the bitterness of ginger. I see. But I'm happy to get a drink of Lumi's creations the way they were intended. As for the mission. Yeah, the mission. It has to run into some difficulties. Difficulties of what nature? Well, um, the truth is, mm -hmm. I still have trouble finding myself a date. Aww. What is a date? And it's a step you need to take before, um, coupling up. You meet somewhere, you talk, you get to know the person. Not having a hive connection sounds exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, it can be a challenge, to be honest. But in another way, it's wonderful. Without the hive connection, when you meet someone, it's always a surprise. They react in ways I don't expect, in ways I wouldn't. 
Every time I learn something new about earthly species. Not too, certainly. But mostly about myself. He's becoming his own person. Mm. That's definitely what being with someone is about. Hi, Drac. Hello, Drac. Every time you're honest with a person you love, you can have your comfort zone become a better person yourself. Yes. That sounds complicated. We need to make further computations to understand. It's different from what we're used to, but it's also pretty great. I mean, it sounds to me like you've got it figured out. Surely your date should go well enough. <sighs> oh, sorry. Random yawn. It's okay. I have chai right now, so that's one kind of yawny. Thank you. You're very kind. Thanks for the head fat, Danny. If I may so myself, I think I've made some progress. If I did get a date, I think it would go better than before. What's the problem, then? Well... The thing is... Seattle's a very big city, even by our standards. Everyone's busy running around. People aren't trusting, not like in romantic movies. You can't mm. just ask someone on the street to go on a date with you. Yeah, also I just realized he has a kind of mash-ish haircut. Oh my gosh, it is a mash haircut. It's just that- There's even a little purple. Yeah, like, I would just put the hair in the front a bit and it would just be her. Yeah. It sounds like you're tr you tried. Yeah, I tried several times. Seattle free is yet. I even sit on a plaza for a few hours with a date me placard around my neck. That is, um... Not an optimal strategy, yes. I've realized that since. People mostly seemed a little scared. I hear most people meet their partners at work. Is that something you could try? Well, you need to have a job for that. Yeah. Maybe later on. I don't know. At the moment, I'm afraid. My work doesn't attract the right sort. Oh, so he does have a job, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you found a job, Silver. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. A few months ago. I decided to open a cafe. Oh, no, you're stepping on our turf! <laughs> really? Does that mean Kafumi has competition? Not at all. I'd never want that. It rather feels like a small way to start a family tradition. Aww. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, after I tried all that, I was running out of ideas. So I decided to reinstall Lonely Hearts like I did when I had just arrived here. Finally, dating does sound like a reasonable solution. Better than nothing. Ah, keep a maid wars, oh no! I thought so too. My trout. But the amount of dates I've gotten since I downloaded is. Based on the surrounding parameters, we will guess absolute zero. That is accurate. Hey, Litro! And yeah, I have all the chibis on me today. It's a day for dolls and being close. Oh no. Also, Annie, I just realized you're in prime range for me to wrap my thighs around your face. I don't have you know yours! Why? <laughs> I don't have your Fumo, Litro. Aww. I'm being honest. I think I have an idea, but it might sound strange coming from me. The online dating process feels a little no, it feels a lot alien. Ha uh... Please expand your explanation. Do you mean it lacks earthly species? <laughs> oh no, it is earthlings in all shapes and sizes. But it feels impossible to connect to them. I was much more successful when I first tried months ago. I might need to put on the suit again. <laughs> but now it's like... Some of my connections to the high line has been recently. I'm part of it, to some extent. I feel like if I can just reach out to it, I'll find the understanding. Then I do reach out. And I only find silence. Hmm... That's pretty sad. A lot of people trying to grow online like. Hmm. Sorry I'm making everyone gloomy now. No, don't worry about that at all. 
I'm just wondering if you got friends I can set you up with. But they all have partners. You're very kind, Lua. I'll find some sort of way eventually. Pretty important that I do. It's an existential issue for some people. Hmm. The three aliens. We will help. We will find you a way to breed. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. I really appreciate your offer, Amanda, but even after spending years here, I still struggle with it all. When I first arrived, it was hard for me to even hold a conversation. I think I can read people a little better, but still... You are not looking for a conversation yet, are you? You wish to connect to a hive mind, and you found it easier when you first arrived. Is that not what you said? Yeah, that's true, but... We are a hive mind, and we have just arrived here. We will help. That does technically meet what he said. It does sound reasonable. I suppose social media can be a bit like a hive mind sometimes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And there's no harm in trying, right? Except Reddit posts and YouTube. Well, I guess that's settled. I'll show you how the app works when we leave here, Amanda. We are prepared. We you are gather. not. Yes, we will gather intelligence and draw conclusions. With our hive mind powers and your human knowledge, based on your previous experience and your new skills, he estimates our odds of success at 100%. Estimates should be Yay. wrong. I like your confidence. Man always was a force of nature. We do not know what that means, but it sounds complimentary. We are pleased. As for... Oh. Wait. Mm hmm? What? What is... We have to go now. Um. But. Well, what happened? Ugh. What's going on? I don't know. I'll explain everything later. Were the men in black coming or something? Sorry, Kofumi. Lua. See you soon, I hope. We. Oui. No time, let's go! Okay. Um, is the men in black actually coming? I don't know. Well, that was odd. Yeah, that was a rather sudden departure. I hope they're going to be all right. I was right! Hello? Good evening. Evening, Mr. Agent. He has a neuralizer. He does. Do you two know each other? The agent here has been asking about our customers in the past. I trust tonight's come for a late night coffee. <laughs> so I only know I'm here on official business. Mmm. Sounds serious. It is very serious, miss. Lua. Don't give names. Never give names. Yeah, don't give names. Miss Lou and Kafumi. You know why I'm here, don't you? Well, if it's not for coffee... Honestly, I'm at a loss. Is that how you want to play it? What about you, Miss Lua? See, now she's involved! Yeah, want to make an educated guess? An educated guess? Well, I swear I filed my tax return months ago. I did base at the same time, so that can't be it. Hmm. I have no clue. You too. You take me for a fool. We would never. Let me make myself clear then. Have there been alien sightings at this cafe recently? Alien sightings? Sorry, but that sounds kind of far-fetched. Yeah. The men in black. Think again, both of you. Think carefully. If I were you, I wouldn't tell any lies. This is getting old. We didn't do anything wrong. She's getting angry. Hmm. And we don't have an answer to any of your questions. It's true, you don't. Yep. Actually, 
actually nothing. I know my rights. Fuck, yeah, she does. You have no dear to come here and act like a big shot. I've never seen you in this cafe who doesn't belong here. So I suggest you take your suspicions elsewhere. And leave this place and confuse me alone. My investigation. Your investigation means nothing to us. Yeah. I can feel myself getting angry, Mr. Agent. And trust me. Ooh. Uh, you do not want to see me angry. She has good powers. Hmm. Hey, don't you dare oh. put your hands on me. Hands are being put. Yep. <laughs> I did no such thing. Not yet, at least. <laughs> oh, he just backed away. Very well. I think she has just spooked. Yep. I'll go for now, but this isn't over. I will stand by quietly while aliens invade Seattle. Suit yourself. Already had a view. <laughs> You're only be wasting your time. The suit is always myself. I'll be the judge of that. A good night to you. Yeah. Mm. Charisma based casters. Oof. Ooh, that was impressive. Well, I may be on the quieter side, but I am still a succubus. Fuck yeah. I'm glad you're my friend and not my enemy. Yeah. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't like to antagonize people. You'd rather give the suck. But I guess sometimes it can't be helped. Yeah. I wonder what that guy was really after. He's an alien immigration agent. He's been after Silver for a while now. Back when Silver was called Neil and looked like Amanda. That just has all sorts of fun things that you could say about it. Yeah. That doesn't make me like him anymore. Yeah. I came very close to clipping him in his smug face, to be honest. He wasn't really smug, he was more emotionless. Well, the smugness was probably felt. Yeah. Even if I didn't touch him in the end, despite what he thought. No, indeed. You you didn't touch him. But something did. What do you mean? Seems like an important ID key card. A shame if someone were to lose it. Oh? Well, the agent had this on him, and now he doesn't anymore. Yoink. Naughty Kafumi, I didn't think you had in you. We mugged him! <laughs> it's certainly an interesting looking ID card. Yeah, we just had the tentacles come up from underneath the chair and just steal his wallet. Man, he had $47 in here, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone creative could find good uses for that. Are we gonna give this to Neil so he can make a fake ID? Oh my gosh. My sentiments exactly. Well. I guess you have some time to consider what to do with it. And who to pass it on to. So we have Georgie's lighter, a business card, and a fidget spinner, and now we have an ID. Indeed. Yeah, it was not a coincidence. <laughs> anyway. anyway, this should be more than I'd like to admit. Yes. I'm so sorry. It's really not your fault. But I'm going to spend some time with my fiance now. I'm gonna bone! <laughs> Which will be all of 30 seconds. Man, he finishes quick. <laughs> Before I start snoring on his shoulder. Oh my gosh. Sounds pretty good. Say hello to him for me. I will do. So do you think her tail also acts as an ovipositor, or... This agent looks like he's gonna be in trouble. Seemingly important ID card. Mm. It says G.I.B. on it. Yep. Government in black. Guys in black. Guys in black, yeah. But tomorrow's another day. Uh, another day at Shogoth Starbucks. Amazing. Chocolate bee meter. Sweet, nourishing, healthy chocolate. That was a day! Friday, September 22nd. All right, let's see. Atlantic country to sign multi-billion dollar deal for education system improvement. Nice! What returning to the office means for the Neko Mimis. They can't just beat things off the top shelf. Woodpecker almost pecks through utility pole. Strong beak. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Ooh. Oh. This rainy season sure is something. Let's check our phone. Phone. Rachel. Oh, she's gonna come by today. Alright. Working on something curious. He he he. Tomorrow's down. We'll resume delivery tomorrow. She does, uh. Other stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Just watch, watch this movie about vampire calling themselves vegan by drinking animal blood. Tried it once. It was neither satisfying nor feeling synthetic is better. Also, a vampire getting pregnant. Amusing. <laughs> Do you think a satyr would look good with leg tattoos? Ask for a friend and not for me at all. But, but they're all furry down there. I don't think that would work. Eh, I know. guess you could like paint the fur different colors, but it's not really the same thing. Yeah. Like you Thank could draw. She is. How are you feeling, Miss Rachel? Um, did you do Rachel? You did her voice. Also, her fucking. Okay. She has a gangster jacket. It looks are, so good. Are you with the Yakuza? The Nyakuza. Yes. As good as I can be. Nyahan. What is it? Her hair got shorter and I love it. She has like a b blonde streak in it. She always had the blonde streak, but the Bob sort of haircut is fucking good on her. Fabumi <laughs> chan! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. I think I'll never get used to seeing a Nekomi transformation, is all. Comes with comic effects and everything. Yeah, it does. In a good way or a bad way? In a good way, of course. It's quite magical. Thanks. So, do you need anything? A towel, perhaps? Let's see her. Wait, hold on. She doesn't have any bonds. Huh. I would literally go to the office every day in a wedding dress if only the skanks in HR would allow it! Amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was pouring outside when you came in. Hmm. Do you have a hair dryer? A hair dryer? No, unfortunately we don't. Then nope, I'm good. You sure? Oh, Kafumi, a little rain won't hurt me. I'll be fine. Alright, if you say so. Hey now, I'm no longer a kid, okay? It's been three years already. I aged two, you I know. It was just one year ago. It was three years ago. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. It has nothing to do uh, with that at all. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's your turn. Yeah. The last thing I want is for a star to get ill because of poor service here. And you doesn't treat me real nice. How about make me a special drink? A uh, special drink. What do you have in mind? Something milky. And slightly sweet. And some brightness to negate this gloomy weather. Some brightness, huh? As in flavor or color? Up to you. I mean, different colors should have different effects, right? Alright, I'll try. Yay! Oh, and no coffee, please. Can you summarize your order for me? A colorful non-coffee latte with honey, please. Alright, hold on, there was another one. Of course, I would shave my fur. How you can see the tattoos otherwise? Ah. Ah. Uh, well, that answers my question. Yeah. So she wants I something bright, bright, milky, and with honey. I'm gonna try it with the hibiscus first. All right. And then we can go blue pea if we need to. Ooh, red. Do you want to do that, or see if there's a different one that we can make? Well, let's try the hibiscus. All right. So. Oh, wait, this is the hibiscus, right? I meant yeah. to try the blue, but this is fine. We'll try it. I don't know. I was trying for something. Uh, it would have been better without the swirl, I think. Wait, hold on. I got an idea. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that, that looks better. All right, there you go. All you right. saved it. You salvaged it. Let me think about this. Let's see what we got here. Ah, it was a drink that she wanted. February 29th, contact Rick Mutual at XRCom for a visit. Oh, of course she has to put her. So, Sweetheart Latte. Garnished with bits of rose petals, this latte is refreshing in both taste and appearance. Feels kind of romantic. Mm-hmm. 
It's cute. Also, it's pink. Yep. What do you call this again? Or, hmm. Yeah. We call it Sweetheart Latte. Cute. Thank you. Let's see what you're trying to let me know what you think. Okay. Can be happy. Mmm. I have a strawberry latte, is it? It's too sour for that. Don't tell me just yet. Let me guess. Let me guess. Okay. Cranberry? No. Now that you mention it, it does have a similar taste to cranberry. The biscuits does kind of taste like that. Hmm. But it's not that right. What is it, then? It's a biscuit. Ooh. How do you like it? I love it. It's sweet, tart, and creamy at the same time. Why sweetheart latte, though? Well, it tastes both sweet and sour. It contains milk, so it's creamy and comforting. Like a sweetheart. <laughs> Aww. Annie, you're both. No. You're my sweetheart latte. You can't drink... Oh, actually, you have done that. I can drink from the Tanook in many ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, sour, and comforting, huh? Yes. Speaking of sour, I'm surprised the milk isn't all curdled up. Mm-hmm. I remember at a party someone tried to mix using a mocktail using lemon, soda, and milk. They made pilk. Milk? It was yucky. Because you need to use the right ratio of ingredients. Then you had to mix them at the right temperature. Mm. Additionally, you had to froth it to prevent curdling and... So what you're saying is it's not something I can make myself. Of course you can. Why make it yourself when I'm always at your service? <laughs> Excellent response. Five stars. Since when have you gotten so smooth, Kafumi? Only happens on the rarest of occasions, and also on the full moon. So it's best if you do not get used to it. <laughs> so, sweetheart latte, huh? A fussy but comforting sweet and sour. Sorry, Tech, you're on your own. We're doing a, we're doing our minimum wage job here. You have yours. What's wrong with you? Oh, right. Uh, right. They He's have one order that was $600. Oh, wow. Yeah. I see. At any rate, has it really been that long already? My last visit here was probably over a year ago, wasn't it? I believe so. It was around the same time your images starting to appear on buses. Ooh, right. Things just took off and suddenly I had no more free time. How are you hanging? Busy, but it's good. Great even. A lot's happening, actually. Yeah? Like, I've been busy shooting new music videos and such. A lot of photo shoots, too. I'm also set to appear on several shows and podcasts and- Oh! I'm creating a new single. Oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. That's great news, congrats. Nope. Don't congratulate me yet. N okay. I'm still up in the process of making it. I see, I understand. Yep. In more ways than one. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm actually creating a song this time. Ooh. Oh. Wow. And I'll be collabing with AJ. Wait a second. You mean... The guy is always on your playlist, uh, Ar Arami J J Arami Jindrew. Jeremy Andrew. J oh. Yeah. That's really cool. I know. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear it. I also had no idea you made songs. <laughs> I know I don't look like it, but... Truthfully? For the time I was a kid, I always been a, it's always been a dream of mine. Yeah. Writing songs? And dancing. More specifically, singing and dancing my own songs. A one Neko Mimi pop-up concert. A pop-up concert. You know, a concert that pops up randomly. You see, it happens sometimes in malls or a popular busy street. Oh, yeah, I can see what you mean. 
you miss it and poof, it's gone. Leaving only memories of a one-of-a-kind show and a one-of-a-kind experience. Sounds rather exciting. Right? Well, I guess I've always loved being on stage. But you know, we all want to become everything when we're kids. Yeah. But as you grow up, you have to pick your battles. And for me, singing and dancing just come much more naturally and creating my own music. Ah. Uh. At least until now. I thought to myself, if I can't do it alone, then I'll make it with someone who definitely knows what they're doing. You definitely chose the right guy. Her dad. Right? I'm taking in fresh inspiration even now. Who knows, maybe we'll get inspired from one of your drinks too. But I'm so excited you can't believe! And so keep an eye out for it, okay? She's cute. Whenever it's out, I mean. Will do. Ugh. Uh. Hmm? Huh? I knew it. A blackout? Yeah. It happened before, huh? Only when the weather gets this bad. Give me a quick second, please. I'll turn it on the generator. Okay. <laughs> At least he's prepared this time. Yeah. Oh? She's back. She's back. Cha! Lightning struck. Kitty. 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 Hmm? Did I voice? I voiced her too. You voiced her. You voiced both, yeah. I can handle that. Cute. Oh, Miss Riona, welcome. Hello. Sorry about my absence earlier. I was just turning on the generator. <coughs> Miss Rachel, is everything all right? Surprise. Yep. I was just surprised by a thunder for a second there. So when they get spooked, they turn into cats. Oh my gosh. Just imagine just getting zoomies in the middle of the night, though, for her. <laughs> hmm. okay. Rachel, get off the wall right now. And she's just like on the curtain. Then she just shapes her back and she just falls down anyway with the curtain rod. <laughs> they must be crazy when they're kids. Yeah. Okay. Happy to see you again, Miss Rihanna. How are you feeling tonight? Honestly, not the best. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you make me something nice with a bit of sweetness? Of course, anything you want. Hmm, I recall last night she just said interesting drink to me. Something with blue tea and milk. Not right. Could you please prepare that for me? But make it ever so slightly sweeter this time. It's been quite a day. I think I deserve the sugar. So, blue pea milk and honey. I've just the perfect drink mm -hmm. for you. Yay! Then a blue latte would be a sweetness, please. I just make sure I don't have it. Right. Uh, let's do blue... and sweet. Let's see what that makes. If it makes anything. Dreaming blue. Ooh. One dreaming blue for the lady in blue. Just... Oh, I forgot to give her something. I forgot to give her something. You we, did? We could have given her something. Fuck. Hold on. Oh, we can do that in a minute, right? No, we can't. She oh, only no, we can't. Yep. We have, to, we have to back up. Okay. Yeah, we have to back up. 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 We weren't look prompted, there, that's why I there. forgot. Okay, hold on. Now, do we give her the fidget spinner okay. or the card? I'd say the card, for sure. Yeah, rewind time! Okay, auto. Oh, we can't go ahead because we haven't finished the day! Fuck! Alright, I have to remake her drink and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah now I can fast right. forward. Okay, you remember what it was? Yeah, I got the drink in here. Hold on. 
Uh, this mesmerizing and earthy latte imbues you with calmness since we're on a night. All right, so it's viscous, milk, and honey. Okay, so it does remember the drink you did. Yes, it does um... remember the drinks that we do. I at least got an achievement for it, so hey, we're good. Let me just make sure that we have everything. We gotta like everything, too. I love her jacket. The Nyakuza jacket. Alright. We talked about her single coming out. We gotta give her something. Do we give her the card or the fidget spinner? I say the card. Mm. Cat. Mm. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward. She's got a little spooked. Alright. So then we do... Dreaming Blue. Blue, pea, milk, and honey. Hi, Char! Alright, and then we have to remember, give the item. Give the... Yes. Yep, let's go contact us for sorting someone. There we go. Server. Okay, we're good. Mm hmm? An email. Oh, is it from that person from before? Lucas, wasn't it? He wants me to contact him? I'll think about it. Thank you. You're welcome. One Dreaming Blue... See, the fidget spinner would not have gone over very well. Yeah. One Dreaming Blue for the Lady in Blue who's got the blues. But... I'm not wearing blue, though. <laughs> we had a cool blue thing going on. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Uh, I'm covered in plushies because I want to be. Thank you. Let's see what is going on here. She has a new thing. Oh, Gala's gonna come soon. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, the werewolf. And he has a kitty. Interesting, we didn't get any updates, though. I saw a little kid and her mom walking hand in hand, and it made me feel warm in my chest. I saw on my mom's night. Aww. Aww. We might have to go back and eventually do things, but hey, whatever. Anything else you need? No, it's fine. I... Honestly, you should have given her the fidget spinner. <laughs> Thank you. Just one of those days? I suppose... It's one of those moments where it seems like everything is collapsing simultaneously. Not necessarily great by any means. I know how that feels. Want to talk about it? Rachel's feeling generous today. Good evening. Uh, Big guy. Werewolf. Doctor. Long time no see. I voiced him. Hey, Rachel. Still hospital admissions officer here. I know, I'm just kidding. Is he bigger than last time, or is he just like... Hmm. Ma I think it zoomed in a little. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome Mr. Mr. Gala. I, I, I can help every time to him, I think. You're good. Hey, Kafumi. I'm just here for a quick drink before I get to work. Looks like I'll have to take a breather first. I'll have to agree. Please make yourself at home. So... You were saying? Mm hmm. The lady and I were in the middle of a conversation. And you just sat between them. Yep. We were. Maybe at the beginning of one. I'll back off on being too no nosy, though. I'm just very happy today. Yeah. I see. Should I move over there? No, you're fine. I'm curious about how you've been doing too. But gotta keep the momentum with gotta keep the momentum with sister over there. All right then. Please don't mind me. 
She should be in the middle, I think. Yeah, but it would look a bit weird if he was like off on the inside. He'd actually cut off. Yeah, that's true. This reminds me strongly of my very first visit here. Hmm. Mm hmm. To be frank, this may be the place where people ask me the most questions. Is that a good or bad thing? I'm not sure yet. But I do not mind it much. Truthfully, I do not interact with many people on a daily basis. Since I'm on the road most of the time. Is that so? What do you do for a living if you don't mind me asking? Drive around. I'm a... a Groover. Groover driver. Yeah, she delivers food and people. Oh, it's like Uber, but it's with a G. Yeah. But I only do inner city deliveries, mostly. Sounds tough. It's not as bad as it sounds. I quite enjoy driving. I don't. And now suddenly I can't relate to her. Yeah. I'm kidding, but it helps clear the mind sometimes. That's me with bike rides, but that's merely because I'm actually doing something physical, not sitting on my ass. Right. That's true. I drove a cab in Manhattan back in the early 60s. You did? Forgot he's like 80 years old. Yeah. I had to stop after a few months because it got pretty dangerous. Dangerous? How? Because people kept trying to pick a fight with me. Oh. I also have a few people try to get paying fares or rob me. Hmm. That sounds so terrifying and dangerous. Well, it was back in the early 60s. People weren't as kind to us as they were now. I get why you like driving. I always enjoy the long drive back and forth from airports. I see. Prior to focusing exclusively on delivery, I used to accept passengers as well. Oh, why the change? Because 7 out of 10 passengers will cancel on me. Oh. Mm. Usually right after the end of the car as well. Which resulted in my suspension. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Because she's a banshee, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. What? Well, why? Because I terrify them. But you're so cool. Uh, I think it's the eyes. Yeah. That's just rude. I agree with Miss Rachel. It's not so unreasonable. Hmm. Scritch, scritch, scritch. I must admit I look significantly different back then. Oh? Uh oh? It's because I never had to deal with so many people before. I was living in seclusion far from big cities up until that point. Oh, she must have looked hot. <laughs> so during the appeal period, I tend to myself appear less frightening. Oh. Uh, in the meantime, I was permitted to make a deliveries. Right. It turns out I enjoyed doing deliveries much more than I expected. So I rescinded my appeal. Additionally, the schedule flexibility allows me to focus more on my training and auditions. Did you say auditions? For what? Um... Can I been auditioning for Sophia? Really? Oh, she ha right, she has good ears. Yeah. That sounds cool. No, it's... No. It it's not cool at all. He needs a hug. Why do you say that? I tried for- I've tried for years and you have to land a single roll. Oh. I also lost air pressure in one of my tires, by the way. That was from when Georgie was saying things the other day. Right. Really? Oh, do you think someone cut her tire? Maybe. Yes. The officer already warned us about it, too. Yeah. Uh, however, I'm not yet quite sure if it's related to his case. Hi, Tony. I'll let Officer Georgie know about it when it comes in. Thank you. So yes, not a good day. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm used to it. Aww. Sorry, right, don't mind me. I'll just I'm just going to check my messages. I wanna hug her. I want fan art of them hugging. Yes. I'm just imagining Rachel like hugging her from behind and just pulling her in. Yeah, <laughs> and Gotham just like gets up and like both of them are just hugging over his seat while he has his drink. <laughs> um, okay. Can 
Nice to see you again, Rachel. Oh, same. I still like how he has bandages all over his knuckles, like he's just hitting people. You must have been busy. Oh, right, your, your turn, sorry. You must have been busy. I haven't seen you here in a while. How's Henry? That's fine. He's been pretty busy, too. The one that I gave this voice! Not as busy as you, it seems. See, seen him here for at least every other month or so. I don't know what her arms say. Fuck. Her arms? What? Oh, oh you mean the thing? They have kanji and katakana. Oh, uh, probably something cat. Yeah. Really, Kafumi? He will let me stay out late on my break, yet he comes here all the time to see you. Uh, or, well... Just kidding. I know he comes here often. It's fine. He's old. <laughs> he needs breaks more than me. I mean, fair. Right. Being able to unwind becomes more important as you get older. Be sure he gets in as you really check up, too. Will do. So what's up with you these days? Not a lot, but... Oh. I have a small problem at work, actually. Mm hmm? Yeah? What is it? Well... As the person who handles patient admissions, but they handle really young kids sometimes. Uh, Not in children's hospitals, but they usually come in in urgent cases. Mm. Aww. That's why I try to make the admission process as painless as possible. Just to make things a little easier for everyone involved. Sadly, kids tend to get scared of me. Oh, I just noticed the Banshee girl was looking at him, looking at him out of the corner of her eye. Yes. Which makes expediting their admissions more difficult sometimes. But you're like one of the nicest guys I know. Big, tall, and intimidating. Yeah. Well, they're usually really, really young. Right. Do you know what? Do you know what makes them so afraid of you? Not exactly. I think my size has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. I still tower over them even when I get down to their eye level. Right. They probably feel vulnerable too. I have to imagine he's like he has to get on his knees. Based on how like tall I would assume she is, is probably like five two or five four. He's probably like six, like nearly seven feet tall. Yeah, he's he's a big guy. Plus, all the bandages might look a little intimidating too. Not only that, he might be hunched over. Oh, you think? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Like he's tall. Yeah, I see tall. what you mean. I see what you mean. Not exactly what you would call a great combo. Not at all. Again, it's not a big deal. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do about it. Ah. Hey, Kafumi? Yes? I didn't realize I was already this late. Seems like I'll have to go soon. Can I order now? Of course. What will it be? Of my usual mix of tea, milk, and ginger. The Galahad. Tea, milk, ginger. All right, that was the one that uh, helped him, right? Yep, that was the one that helped him. Oh, I like how it's half a heart, half a wolf. Yep. Special drink is for you, sir. Yep. A ginger chai latte. Good to calm and warm your nerves. Yep. Cat. Wait, isn't that the cat that we dealt with or what? May I, it might be the same one, I'm not sure. I remember that one was very white looking, so probably. Made her in a jiffy without compromising quality. Thanks. It's great as usual. You can't seem to make it like you do. But it still works, right? At least for the intended purpose. It does. I'm just saying, you're still the best, case wise. What is it anyway, ginger latte? Uh, yeah. I think you should. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it. It's closer to ginger milk tea, I think. What Kafumi said. Either way, I'm gonna like it as my late night shift drink of choice. I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine intake. For health reasons? Pretty much, yeah. I find myself better control my fury that way. Ah, I see. That's good to know. Thus, I'll have to rely on you and my adventure in the world of tea drinking. You can count on me. Yeah. I should leave before the storm gets worse. Aww. Next time we'll catch up. Okay. Alright. Sorry to leave in the middle of the conversation. 
Hang in there, it always gets better. Aw, thank you. Have a safe trip. See you! Okay. I mixed up the voices. It's fine. <laughs> it just suddenly too. talks like very girly. Just... <laughs> <laughs> One second, please. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh um, my gosh. Yeah? Um, Brianna, was it? Isn't it? I'm sorry to hear about the auditions. Trust me, I really get how you're feeling right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've been rejected by agencies many times too for following me and my previous group. Mm hmm This Rachel here is an idol. Single's on the shelves right behind you. Ah. I'm trying to look for the shelf. Uh, it is behind her head. Oh, okay. Oh. That's amazing. Thanks. Do you have a reel? Do you have a reel up online somewhere? We might be playing a different feel, but I still love to see it. Oh, that might be a sore subject, yeah. yeah. I took it down a long time ago. Why? Yeah, people. People. I had to deal with a lot of online harassment. Therefore, I removed this hand some headaches. What? People are unbelievable. Don't mind the haters. They're just people who have nothing better to do. Yeah. Right. I suppose you must have dealt with similar things before. Plenty. Uh-huh. It comes with the fame. Yeah. For better or for worse. I hate some people just because they're weird people, for sure. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I see. Anyway, you should keep it up. Maybe I can ask my colleagues I know any audition leads if you link me a reel. Are you sure? Yep, I mean, no promises, but I'll try. Hmm. Um. I have a video if you want to see it. Yeah. Of course. Let me move over there then. Kitty teleport. Kitty port. Ooh. Oh, she looks so cute. She do. A video of Rihanna singing. Wow. I might not get opera, but that was pretty nice. It'd be great if you posted more of these online. What do you mean? You have this, um, je ne sais quoi thing going on. Oh my gosh, thank you. And yes, thank you for the care pack. It means a lot. Stretch a little bit. Hmm. I'm stretching to you one second. Yep. <laughs> Sorry to hear my bones popping. You're anyway. good. An unusualness that may captivate some people. Oh, I know. You should upload your stuff on Tomachill. I bet many people will love it. Um. Mm. Oh. It's alright. Hmm? What's wrong? I don't think I'm cut to have any presence online. I don't fit in with the... culture. She doesn't I like told the... you, don't mind... Yeah. She doesn't like I the normies. I told you, don't... Sorry. Yeah. I told you, don't mind the haters. I mean, it's not just that. I might also have a complex regarding something else. What complex? You both may dislike me for this. Why? I always should do my best in the old-fashioned way, so to speak. Aww. Meaning... I... It seems more appropriate for me to follow the traditional route. It says that... Okay, I'll give you a moment. Lucky said I'm wearing plushies, what else? I can literally take off all my clothes and just be wearing plushies right now. I mean, I'd be covering the important bits. <laughs> Well, I can't take off all my clothes. Uh, I made sure that Rudolph always kept the sports bra and the shorts on, so... Well, yeah. Anyway. Maybe in the summer. Maybe in the summer. I or... mean, we just love the summer, so... Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I read that. Just making sure. As opposed to using shortcuts or things that are online. Ooh. I get it. I realize this makes me sound snobbish. I apologize. Who cares? Everybody's a snob in one way or another. Very much so. But maybe you shouldn't limit yourself to that just yet. What do you mean? The entertainment industry changes rapidly, you know? Yeah. For almost three years I've been doing this, it takes a lot of flexibility to stay afloat. Mm hmm Because it's always someone who could replace you. Sadly. Ah. I don't know a lot about opera, but I'm sure it's changing too. Space opera. Some things aren't always better the old way. I'd say most things aren't. Mm -hmm. Especially in the creative industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thinks they stand in two ways, either profitable or some people just are really stubborn. Looking at many things right now. Many things. Yeah. Like the past me. Mm hmm. Back then I thought I could only choose one or two things I was good at. And just forget the rest. But recently I got a chance to make my own song with a musician. I'm not the best at composing, so I really need the help. I see. And a musician I'm collaborating with? He had a dream of becoming a fighter jet pilot. Amazing. However, one thing earned our Kevin from making his dream come true. Hmm. So he posted his music as a hobby on Toma Chill, and just like that, bam, he hit it big. Oh. Yep, I'm a big fan of his. In fact, all the music on this coffee shop is from his newest album. Licensed, of course. I see. That's amazing of him. You too. But don't be afraid to do things a little differently. Plenty of roads to Rome and all that. That's all I can say about it. Hmm. At any rate, I'll try asking around if I have any sort of leads. Maybe to change IDs, do you have any? No, but I have a cell phone number. Hmm, okay. Yes, text buddies. There. Thank you. Okay, Rihanna, I have to go now. Can I hug both? Hug both. Yes. I'll let you, I'll let you up by text if I have anything. Thank you so much. Hello, Hollow. Mm. Hello. Don't thank me yet. But you're so welcome. Yeah. Kafumi, I'm going. See you soon? Of course. Please come again soon. Bye bye. Cat go poof. Cat go poof. Aww. Took the coffee mug with her. Somehow. Just bouncing in our head. So interesting. This is my first time seeing Nekomimi up close. Is that so? Oh, how about your car? Will you be alright? I have a spare tire. I'll fix it once the weather improves. Alright. Coming here was a wise decision. I wasn't sure whether I should. Yeah. Oh? Hmm. In truth, I am deeply embarrassed by my conduct last time. No hugs. Hug. Hug. I regret it. I apologize. You're a good bean! <laughs> Please, don't be sorry. No harm done. Thank you. It's just... There are times when I, too, feel lonely. Mm. This is not my first rejection for an addition, as you've already inferred. But... It never gets easier. Understandable. Typically, I would just ruminate about it in my car while being parked somewhere. Do you have a home? That's also a good question. Yeah. I acknowledge it's not the most effective means of resolving my feelings. However, it's better than the alternatives. Mm. Which are none. I can always come here. I don't know. 
I feel as though I'm only bringing doom and gloom onto the table here. Nonsense. Our door is always open. In the evenings, of course. So, please, don't ever hesitate to stop by. We'll see. Sounds like the weather will clear up soon. Really? How do you know? Hmm. Experience. Let's just say I observe this guy a lot. Especially in traffic. Makes sense. I guess. <laughs> in any case, I better leave now. Thank you again, Kafumi. You're very welcome. Have a safe trip out there, Miss Riona. Do you want to end it there for coffee talk at least? I hope she comes by again. Uh, that sounds pretty good, honestly, especially with switching. Mm -hmm. Oh. Gotta... Mm. It's a bad idea, I won't do a cheese. Good boy! I think this is it for today. Let's see. Hmm? Whose mm -hmm. card is this? Oh. oh. Hmm. Oh, I'll just, just keep it for now. Yeah. Someone's apartment key. Maybe? Ah. Huh. Hmm. Concern? Let's wrap this up all now, shall we? Blue marshmallow! Oh, that's adorable. Uh, let me just get to the next day so that we actually have it unlocked. Yeah. As a true Pacific Northerner, we know when rain will happen. Yeah. Okay, give me a moment. Petition to combine Halloween and Xmas games traction. Why? No. <laughs> no. Tactical survival game. Creeks Front 4. Final Front set to release next four, next year. Belton man caught after attempting to outrun police with a Segway? <laughs> yeah. Halloween holds the line. Oh, we have an oh no start next day. That's good. Suspenseful. Yeah. All right. Um... Is it okay if we take a short break? Actually, I am a little hungry. Yeah, I was going to go grab a snack. Okay, I'll be back um, as soon as I can, I suppose. Yes, we're going to go grab snacks. Everyone, you be good. <laughs>